Hey, it is Faith Talk Live. I'm Rick Probst. I'm Dan Ratcliffe. And I'm Just Morgan. And Josh Harris looks like he's in the library of the cruise ship there. And uh, he did mention that he read every Harry Potter book that was ever created or thought of a couple of times. Josh, how are you? I'm blessed, my friends. How are y'all? Good, 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 good. Good to see you. Uh, last time you were in the studio, we do want to catch up with you to see what's going on with you in this pandemic, COVID-19 coronavirus. Uh, it's, uh, we're all uh, socially isolated in our studios here. Uh, in our homes, and it looks like you are as well. Last time we talked, you were doing cruise ship stuff. It was going good, um, and now uh, you're you're at home. Um, what's going on with you? I am telling jokes on the streets of downtown Atlanta <laughs> with a hat out, praying people won't even throw money in the hat. They're too scared. They PayPal me sometimes <laughs> from sixty feet away. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So uh, just let us in on, uh, uh, you had texted me earlier because uh, I asked you how it was going and you said that you've had some uh, reschedulings as far as the crew. Oh yeah. So I was yeah. on the ship. I was on the ship. Shows were going very well. I think that was the good thing with every cruise, the shows I feel like for me were getting more consistent, better, um, really strong, uh, some good stuff. And, um, you know, it, it I would see some of this, you know, these headlines and things on the news stations when, you know, in the, you know, like when we're eating with crew and stuff, they'd have a TV, but like, I'm just thinking it's kind of hype. And then at my second, the last show, I, I no, the last night of the cruise, I find out that once we get off that ship, it is carnival is pressing pause on cruises till April 10th or 9th mm -hmm. it, minimum. Now, now I just found out, Southwest isn't going to fly international till May 4th. And not like I always take Southwest, but I'm thinking if all the other airlines follow in step, like, I, you know, I don't know what that means. So um, anyway, yeah, it was, a, it was a different vibe. And once that news came down, I mean, they were very, Carnival was very nice. To, I mean, they, they're paying me for a show that I'm not even going to be able to do March 27th, which is freaking awesome. Um, wow. They're paying people for two weeks out if they had get cancellations, you know, within two weeks. Um, but you could feel the energy uh, on that ship kind of change a little bit. I mean, I think the most noticeable thing for me, one of the most powerful things, I just stay up late on these ships for whatever reason sometimes. I just, maybe after a show, I'm hyped up. I can't get to bed. I'm sort of wandering the halls and um, I look into the HR room. And I'm not saying this was the HR team in there, but I swear it was like 20 to 30 probably. I mean, I don't know, I'm going to just guess. I'm going to say 20 to 30, like looked like Indonesian people in a prayer circle, like mm. just, and this woman is leading this prayer circle. And I mean, just like crying out to God. It was, I actually stood in the back, just kind of kneeled and, and just kind of like camouflage prayed with them. But this was very, um, it was, you know, these, I, I personally didn't even know that there was that, um, I, I guess you could say just a, that passionate of a group of believers on this ship, I, you know, because I'm only on for about a week at a time, but um, that was really, you know, and to just, just them for just asking for God's direction and provision and, you know, how they have to provide for their families back home and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, all this stuff. So it was like, you know, you could, you could feel it um that was probably the most poignant thing i saw from uh you know while when i before i got off the ship regarding all that we're talking to comedian josh harris now josh uh being back home what do you miss most about being on the cruise <sighs> you know i think some good stuff about being on those ships you know i mean i have a really good deal in the fact that i'm not i'm only on there for about a week at a time and then i'm right. off so i can kind of manage life on on and on the water and off the water but uh i think one really solid thing about being on the ships is it, it really helps me just get a lot better as a comedian you know mm -hmm. you do so many shows on these ships i mean you know 10 shows in six days 10 shows in nine days whatever and um i so there's that there's that consistency um it's really really cool and um just pushing yourself to write a lot more i think that's uh that's I would think that's, yeah, that's a pretty cool thing that you don't get so much of on land. 
You miss uh, not having to make your own food. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nice. The cafeteria. <laughs> Yeah, uh, have the the, the, the uh, in the sweet uh, what is that buffet line, man? Yeah. Like, I yeah, totally the free ice cream twenty four hours a day. I mean, come on, what, what more could you want? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Crazy sweet, loving geriatric ladies just getting tennis <laughs> elbow from pulling all the slot machines so much. <laughs> are there are there a lot of people on the quarters machine? Oh, you know what? I don't. Yeah, that's a good question. Do they? First off, have you been on a cruise? You went on one recently, didn't you? I, I've been on a cruise. My fiance went on a carnival cruise recently, and all I kept hearing about was the quarters machine. Oh, so and so how good. he made friends at the quarters machine, and he was helping people win. <laughs> <gasps> wow. So here's the thing: as comedians, we're not supposed to be gambling, and yeah. I totally understand why. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just like we're not supposed to, there are a few, like, they give us some, a really, they give us a good leash, but there's a few, like, one and dones. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if cruise ships are, if it's another, if you yeah. are, like, if you bring a guest back into your cabin, you're done. You're, yeah. you're, right. you're swimming to shore, which I think that's a great policy, actually. I, yeah. I, you know, I think, um, but, I, so I don't know about the casinos because I don't. I'm not supposed to be gambling. Right. But can you win? I didn't even know the quarters machine was considered gambling. Okay. <laughs> I, maybe he was just playing the parking meter. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> on the ship. Yeah. So whenever they port, he's just out there. Just yeah. He's lots of quarters for that big ship. That, that's hilarious. That's that's when you know you're drunk. <laughs> I'm not getting anything back but receipts. I'm losing. <laughs> There's a Josh. new bit for you when you get back on the cruise ship, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> comedian, comedian Josh Harris on uh, Zoom with us. And uh, uh, I, be I believe that Dalton Hill, he needs a medal for helping those 80-year-olds figure out how to put the quarter L in the quarter. Literally. Yeah. That's, that's literally <laughs> what was funny. I love you. And they paid him. <laughs> hey, Josh, now let's pick up. Uh, today, now, uh, you have a lot of video stuff, funnyjosh.com. Uh, you, you usually do school face-to-face. -face. Are you changing, at least for a short term, uh, how you're getting your material out? What are you doing? Are you just taking a rest and writing new stuff? What are you doing? Actually, dude, today I'm about to drop a brand new comedy song, music video. Um, awesome. We filmed it. It's called Corona Corona. And... Uh, <laughs> And it's, it's all, you know, it's in good taste. It's just about being quarantined and uh, essentially, but uh, yeah, you see, and, and hiding toilet paper within the, you know, drywall of your house and um, all that good stuff. <laughs> so um, yeah, you see as the guy kind of, you know, it's, so anyway, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it turned out very well. I even had an LA producer help me some with the track. Wow! They, they put the Celine Dion treatment on my voice, so uh, it's. <laughs> Can't wait to see that. So, where can folks see it? Uh, Josh Harris dot uh, com or. Yeah, funnyjosh dot com. Funny Josh. All my social media sites. You know, I mean, we have one line in the song. It's like drug dealers on the corner are trying to sell um, mm -hmm. dime baggies that are filled with little squirts of Purell. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like so, it. I'm pretty proud of it, man. We did a music video. We had the song, because it's so relevant. I, we went from concept to song. Well, I think we start, I started working on it with this vocal instructor to song pen to video shot and edited either, maybe in a week. Like it, maybe if it was like seven, yeah, like seven. Yeah, no, about like, I'm going to say seven to nine, 10 days or so. But wow. yeah, it's like. Uh, maybe a little long, but yeah, we I burned through it, man. It's we all did. I I had a really awesome team helping with it. So it's like, what else are you gonna do right now? You know, Josh Harris, uh, comedian. Uh, you're back there at the house uh, with your mom. I bet your mom thought she was free of you for a while, but now she's stuck with you uh, again. How's she doing um, physically? Is she doing okay? Yeah, she's doing well. She's doing very well. Yeah, she's uh. She likes having me back, I'm sure. You know, I have a place here, so I mean, but I honestly, with, with everything that's going on, I'm kind of like <laughs> between my place and her place, and it's it's cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, let's do this. So we got to take a break. Funnyjosh.com, check out the new video. It is, and the old stuff is really good. And uh, Josh, we look forward to seeing you again. Hopefully next time in studio, uh, we'll be able to breathe on each other 
and uh, laugh at each other. Have a great yeah. time. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thank you, guys. All right, let's do this. Let's take a break. It is Faith Talk Live. I'm McProbst. I'm Dan Ratcliffe. And I'm just Morgan. We will be right back.